So, I'm pretty new to this whole YouTuber thing. So I'm always looking to other YouTubers for inspiration, looking for, for ways to improve my channel. Things that they do that I could do also. Um, and I noticed that a lot of them uh, decorate their set. What I mean is they'll have things like posters in the background, props, some toys, just, just things in the shot to make it a little more interesting. Uh, so I thought I'd do the same. I scrounged up some last-minute decorations. We got some children's Tylenol, grape-flavored. Wow. Oh, there's that. And we got a one-armed stormtrooper. Yeah, how'd you lose your arm, stormtrooper? Oh, it got cut off by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, that's terrible. Those darn Jedi, right? Yeah, I hate him. Wait a second. You're a... Yeah, you're a First Order stormtrooper. Yeah, hold on a second. So Obi-Wan Kenobi wasn't even alive when you guys got started. You dirty liar. Oh, you got me. I lost it in a... Car accident. Oh, that's still pretty bad. Sorry about that, dude. That's okay. You're super nice, Ben. You're also really funny. Everyone should subscribe to your YouTube channel. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> Is it gonna? All right, we're good. So, have you guys ever had any cool ideas for a movie or a TV show, but you just don't have the time or resources to pursue it? Well, that's that's my problem. That's my predicament. Is I got all these all these lit ideas for TV shows, reality TV shows specifically, but I just I just don't have the time. I'm doing this YouTuber comic artist thing already. And I just don't have the time to be producing any TV shows. But then I realized I have this unique opportunity, this this golden resource. You guys, you guys, my subscribers. I may not have the ability to turn my television ideas into reality. But there's like thousands of you guys that watch these videos. Chances are, one of you works for some TV network. Or, or maybe you know a guy. Or you're a brother of a sister of a daughter of a lawyer of a whatever that knows a guy or a gal that can put my TV ideas on screen. So I guess this video is kind of like my pitch. I'll present my best reality TV show ideas to you. You pass it on to your uncle that works for CBS. He turns it into a real TV show. And I collect a modest 80% royalty? And yes, all these ideas are already copywritten, so don't be getting any funny ideas, buster. Now, I could fill books, plural, with all the great TV show ideas I have. But for brevity's sake, I narrowed it down to just three. Here's the first one. You know shows like Survivor, Naked and Afraid, Man vs. Wild? Well, this one's kinda like that, except a hundred times better. And the best part of this show is that the contestants wouldn't actually know that they're on a show. Here's how it would work. We'd kidnap some random people off the street, we'd fly them out, and we'd dump them in the middle of the jungle. All the cameras would be disguised, of course, then we'd simply record whatever happens. See, that's the beauty of it. It's so simple. There won't be any manufactured challenges or contrived elimination systems. There won't be any pre-built shelters, no medical crew on standby, no quitting button you could press if you want a helicopter to swoop in and take you back to civilization. The unknowing contestants would just be left at the mercy of Mother Nature in the heart of a deadly, unforgiving jungle. It's as real as reality TV can get, and anything could happen. The only... The only setback I foresee is that I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure kidnapping is illegal. Yeah, let me... let me look it up. Ah. Oh. Well, that really throws a wrench in things. It, it, details. Details. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyways, besides the kidnapping thing, we'd be legally scot-free. I mean, all we did was bring them to the jungle. Anything that happens after that is their fault. A contestant gets bitten by a poisonous snake? Well, yeah, it's the jungle. Obviously, there's gonna be snakes. It's not our fault there's snakes in the jungle. It rains for three days straight and the contestants contract hypothermia? Sorry, last time I checked, I can't control the weather. Yeah, that'd hold up in court. Here's my second idea. Have you ever watched shows like The Office or Parks and Recreation, where they present the show like a documentary of sorts? Well, this show of mine would be kind of like that, except it wouldn't be a setup. There wouldn't be any actors. It really would be just a reality show of some regular everyday employees working at some regular unassuming job. We capture all the real drama of real people working in a real office environment. We probably just have to spice it up a bit with editing. Huh, where are my scissors? You know, I lent them to Gina yesterday, but I can't remember if I ever got them back. 
Say, uh, Gina, you wouldn't happen to, uh, you wouldn't happen to have my scissors from yesterday, would you? Oh no, I, I put them back in your desk right after I was done using them. Oh boy, here they are. They were in my drawer the whole time. Just to reiterate, these ideas are copywritten. You guys are just wasting your time copying this all down on paper right now. You can't steal my ideas, so just put your pencil down and enjoy the show. Okay, so just in case you somehow aren't sold on those first two ideas, here's my last one. There's this very common format you see for reality TV shows, and you see it everywhere. They have a bunch of contestants compete against each other in a creative field of expertise, all hoping to make a name for themselves doing what they love. Chefs, bladesmiths, tattoo artists, bakers, singers... It seems like just about every creative field has a competition-based show about it. Except for one. There's one creative career that I'm amazed they haven't made a show for yet. An, an untouched goldmine of reality TV entertainment. Plastic surgery. The show would follow the same format. Up-and-coming surgeons would compete against each other in cosmetic surgery-based events. Until one surgeon is left victorious above the rest. Okay, surgeons. Your challenge today was to turn your clients into the spitting image of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The judges were impressed with your results, with a couple exceptions. Brian, would you please step forwards? Aw, oh, heck. Brian, you've been a solid competitor in every event thus far. Unfortunately, this time around, the judges noted some serious flaws in your final product. The nose ended up looking more like Taylor Swift than Dwayne Johnson, and the judges collectively agreed that you failed to capture The Rock's godly jawline. Aw, oh, come on! This wasn't fair! I had the worst client out of anybody! She looked nothing like Dwayne Johnson! I'm sorry, Brian, but you have to play with the cards you're dealt! Fortunately for you, yours wasn't the worst out of everybody. Spencer! Your client turned out nearly perfect, with the exception of the pinky finger sewn to his forehead. And for that reason, I'm sorry, but you are being eliminated. Well, I'm so sorry! Didn't realize I wasn't allowed any artistic freedom. Alright guys, that's the end of my pitch. Uh, any one of those three ideas would make a network some big bucks. So, you know, tell, tell your family, tell your friends, especially if they're in the showbiz. And again, to any producers that might be watching, 80% is my cut. I'm, I'm not compromising on that. And if, uh, if you can't afford it, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other networks lined up that will be perfectly willing to pay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and keep your eye out for the next one, where I will talk about something else.